another Leatherman multi-tool review for you. As you know, if you've seen my other reviews, I really like Leatherman multi-tools. They really just get a lot of stuff right. And you may see an appearance or two from another previously reviewed Leatherman, the Blast. This is a great tool as well. And uh, these, are, these tools are really very comparable in a lot of ways um, as far as cost, size, and weight. And let's just get the weight out of the way here. Uh, the Sidekick, 6.8 ounces. Leatherman Blast, 6.87 ounces, so very similar in weight, but the Sidekick is just a little bit slimmer, which, you know, the size and weight on the Sidekick really make it very easy to carry if you want to, and it's really a fantastic everyday carry item because it has a pocket clip on there and an exterior accessible one-hand openable blade which means that you can just take this tool, clip it to your pocket, and you're good to go. You don't have to carry a multi-tool and a pocket knife or anything. If you want to, you just clip this to your pocket and you're fine. So that's really nice. It also could just make a great uh, kit tool or car tool. Um, you know, if you just want to put this in a tactical kit, an emergency kit, you know, whatever, this is affordable enough, but it's still, uh, you know, made with some good quality so that you, you can really trust this tool if you had to count on it, but it's affordable. So you, c you can throw it in a kit and just forget about it or just leave it in a vehicle and, you know, just leave it there in case you need it. It could also just make a great gift, you know, maybe for somebody even who's not totally into multi-tools and knives and stuff. It's affordable, and it could almost be kind of a gateway tool, in a sense, you, to, you know, where they start using this, start maybe carrying this, and, you know, really like the capabilities uh, that it provides. And maybe in the future they'd, you know, maybe invest some of their own money into a nicer tool, maybe like a Leatherman Charge, Victorinox Swiss Tool, Spirit, you know, something more along those lines. I guess it could also be a collectible. Maybe if you just you know have a, have a Leatherman collection going on, you got lots of the Leatherman tools or just multi tools in general. This could be a, a nice little addition to your collection. So I really like the tool. Let's get into the tool set on here right away. As you can tell, you do have this blade on here. It just has that little slot to uh, open it up. And I really like the blade design on here. It's just kind of a good classic blade shape, uh, hollow ground nice thin stock so it stays sharp it's just a good traditional grind on that uh, what is it that Leatherman squirt on this blade they did that lousy job where they they put that chisel grind on the blade and I just really did not like that As you notice there they, they did a chisel grind on there I really hated that I like the traditional grind on here uh, now also it, this is a liner lock and it's a somewhat thin liner lock not too bad you know, honestly, for just everyday carries type stuff, normal, you know, just regular tasks, I think it's going to be totally fine. Obviously, this is not going to be a knife you're going to go baton with or something like that. And lock up on here is excellent. I know some people have, have complained that they had some poor lock up on their tools. Um, on this knife blade on here, I have not had that issue. It locks up perfectly. And if you want to, you could adjust that with these Torx bits. And I really like that they put this tool together with Torx bits. That's something that a lot of other tools don't provide. And I really like the ability to take the tool apart if I have to clean it. Maybe I dropped it in salt water or something like that. I can service the tool myself. Or if I want to Duracoat it, you know, whatever I want to do, I can do it. Um, now, one thing you will notice is there's just a slight drop in quality on this tool compared to some other Leathermans maybe you'd use. And really, that's just getting it in the price point. I, I paid $28 with free shipping on this thing. So, very affordable. But one of those, you know, maybe nitpicky things you'll notice, there is just a little bit of play, you know, in here. The tool doesn't lock up you know, completely tightly. There's just a little bit of wiggle. Not a big issue to me, but, you know, maybe something to be aware of. If you look at this Leatherman Blast, eh, a little bit of wiggle, but this, this thing is tighter. But, not a huge issue, just something to be aware of. If we look at that pocket clip on there, I do like the pocket clip. I think it, you know, goes well with, with the uh, tool. It, it doesn't look funky or anything. It's nice looking. It retains pretty well in the pocket. I wish it was just a little bit stronger, but honestly, I like it pretty well, and it rides pretty deep, too. You know, I don't feel like I got too much of the tool sticking out or anything. So I really do like the pocket clip. I wish that you could maybe position it on different spots on the tool, because it is just stuck where it is, which, in relation to that knife blade, is basically a tip-down carry. 
I'm not the biggest fan of that tip down carry, you know, on, on knives or anything. But, you know, it's not that bad. I got used to it pretty quickly. Uh, now on the other side of the tool here, you'll notice a saw blade. And, you know, I'm not sure how you're supposed to open that in your right hand. You basically have to put the tool in your left hand to get that open. And so you open up that saw blade. And I like the saw. It's sharp. It's a little bit thinner saw, but I, I do like that. It makes it cut a little bit better. And I like having a saw in more of an outdoors tool like, the, like I kind of envision this, you know, for trap making, maybe stuff like that. And, you know, this is maybe a good time to mention, there's really kind of two tools that are very similar. The sidekick that you're seeing here, and then also the Leatherman Wingman. And the Wingman, the only difference uh, is that instead of the saw, they have scissors, and then there's also one more difference inside, uh, one tool variance. So, you know, maybe, I think the Wingman would probably be a little bit better everyday carry tool, uh, but the sidekick is maybe a little bit better outdoors tool, tactical tool, um, you know, that type of thing. So that uh, knife blade and the saw blade are your only two tools on the exterior of the, of the uh, tool. Now, right here you'll see the lanyard, and I do really like that they have a lanyard attachment on here. That's one thing that I kind of miss on this Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirit. There's no way to put a lanyard on there. So they do have a nice lanyard eyelet that comes out. If you don't want it, it'll just fold up in the tool. Now I did have to modify this, this eyelet a little. And maybe I'll roll in a picture or just show you on this blast. Previously, that eyelet had a little, a little hook on it, just like that, so that you could get, the, uh, get it out of the tool. And it was just a little bit more pronounced than this on the uh, sidekick and it was rather sharp. Not sharp like it's going to cut you really, but just, I don't know, kind of annoying, especially if it, when it poked you and stuff. So I did take it to the grinding wheel. I just took that, that little burr off there and, you know, just made it smooth, put it on the, on the buffing wheel, and now it's perfect. I really like it. So just maybe a minor modification that you may find you want to do. So when you open the tool up here, uh, looking at these pliers here, you'll notice they are spring-loaded, and I really like that. Um, you know, it actually makes it kind of hard to go back to, you know, just my, like maybe my everyday carry tool that I normally carry, like this Swiss Tool Spirit that's just, you know, a traditional tool with no springs or anything. I do like that spring-loaded feature, so that's nice. Uh, if you actually look at the plier heads themselves on here, you may notice the lack of a Leatherman logo, uh, like you'll see on the Blast. So you see they have that, uh, you know, like cast in or whatever, that Leatherman logo on there. For a cost-saving measure, they did take that off of the Sidekick. So you're kind of seeing how this is more of an entry-level tool. They don't have that logo on there. Not a big deal to me. You know, I like it, but I understand that they're trying to, you know, save money. So it doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, the tip on here has really good precision. It's a really nice precise point. I like that a lot uh, compared to the uh, compared to that blast. Very similar. I think the blast may be a little bit pointier, but very similar. So I like the pliers on here. Now the cutters are more of an anvil style. You'll see those two heads just kind of butt up next to each other. If you look at the blast, they overlap each other. I think the overlapping is probably a little bit superior of a uh, of a cutter, but I did cut a lot of wire with these, and these worked perfectly. They they worked really well, so I don't really you know feel any need to uh, complain about the cutters. I think they worked well. Uh, now all of your tools, other than that knife blade and the saw, are on the interior of the tool. Um, generally, I prefer stuff you know where you can just get to it all on the exterior, but you're getting that one hand openable blade, and that's, and that's really kind of what you're getting. So uh, on this side of the tool, you'll notice the tools do kind of clump. So you know that's kind of nice. Maybe if you don't use the tool all that often, you're not sure where things are. You can just pop it open, sort through, find stuff. Honestly, I'd rather that they don't clump. I'd rather that that you know you just pop one tool out and you get one tool, but again, price point it doesn't bother me at all. It's pretty easy to deal with. So you'll notice on this side, the first tool that I'll talk about is this serrated knife. It's very sharp. It would cut really well. I'm just not sure why we need it. Um, I just, 
I think it's, you know, that, that slot in the tool could have been used for a better, more useful item to me. Mainly like scissors. Um, you know, if you look at the uh, Leatherman Blast, it has scissors. Now, they're very small scissors. They're not like super big, super capable, but I actually found them very, very useful. And, you know, I didn't really have any complaints with these little scissors. I would have preferred a little pair of scissors over this serrated knife. Or instead of scissors, you know, if we're saying this is this is maybe lending itself to more of an outdoors or a tactical or that type of thing, give me a rescue cutter with there. You know, blunt the end, maybe give a little slight hook to it, and make it a serrated rescue cutter. A scissors or a rescue cutter is something I would really like to have in the tool. This kind of funky serrated knife, I never used it. I never found a, a reason that I'd need that. Uh, but moving on, our second tool in here is a file. So you'll notice it has one uh, sharpened side of that file. The other side is just a ruler. Not sure how useful that ruler would really be. I mean, compared to something like the Blast that actually has, you know, ruler all along the side. This is something you could actually measure with. This is like one inch or something. So I think they were just looking for something to put there. But you have it. You have the file. I would have preferred maybe, you know, two coarsenesses or, or something of a file, you know, both both sides sharpened. But whatever, it's fine. I don't use the file all that often anyway. And then you have a very precise, small, uh, flathead screwdriver on there. And it is a long shank on there, so you do get a good amount of reach in, and that's nice. Now your final tool on here, on this side, is going to be your cap lifter, can opener, and I guess wire stripper. So you'll notice there, you have your can opener, cap lifter, and then that little sharpened notch, I guess that's maybe what they call a, a wire stripper or something. I've, you know, used that to, sh to try to strip wire. I've had electricians that I know use that to try to strip wire. It doesn't work. Uh, so maybe I'm just, you know, totally off base. Maybe that's intended for something else. But you have the sharpened notch and you have that tool. Works well. And then we get on the other side here. And you just have two drivers. So you have your large flathead. So that's a somewhat thicker stock, so you can use that for, you know, kind of light prying tasks, you know, like opening a paint can lid or something. Well, as you see there, that's what I used it for. So opening a paint can lid or something like that. Um, and then you have this two-dimensional Phillips head driver. And so you see there, I did use that. It does work pretty well. Nice long reach on there. I like it a lot. I mean, it works great. Uh, now, one thing you'll notice is that these tools don't lock like they do on the Blast. Uh, these tools are just a detent. The detent is very strong, very positive. I don't think you're going to have many issues with the, the tools folding in here, uh, as long as you're not using the tool too hard. I mean, remember, you know, it's a 6.8 ounce tool. It's a multi-tool. By nature, you're, you're not going to have the capabilities of a purpose-built tool. But I think the detent will be fine. If you really want to make sure that it doesn't fold on your hand, just close the tool. It won't lock, but it's not going to fold on your hand. So I don't really find that to be too much of an issue. So overall, I do like the tool set. Maybe a scissors and a rescue cutter would have been nice. Um, but, you know, overall, I like it a bit, or quite a bit. And uh, check out the wingman, maybe, if, if you want to get those scissors. And the wingman, instead of that serrated knife, has, I guess what they're calling like a blister pack opener. It's just a, you know, small, real short amount of serrated, or not serrated, of just a sharpened knife that you can just cut open a blister pack with. Seems, you know, somewhat intriguing. I don't know if it's something that I'd use a ton, but I don't know. I might prefer it over that serrated knife. So overall, I really like the sidekick, especially for the price. I mean, 28 bucks, that's just well, well worth it. Really happy with that. Uh, it does come with a few extras with it. It comes with this little carabiner thing that has a, a, a cap lifter on there, a little hex driver, and uh, so you could use that. Uh, maybe even just you know use that on your keys separately. Uh, so it does come with that, and it also comes with this little Leatherman leather pouch. As you can see right now, I'm using that as a kind of a pocket sheath for my Spyderco Endura with the clip taken off of it. I like carrying it like that because it's down in your pocket, real discreet. So you can use that, that sheath if you want to. I, I suppose you could slip the tool in there and then, you know, take this carabiner maybe through those holes and, uh, you know, hang the tool off something like, like that. 
if you want to. So, it does come with that stuff. That's nice. Uh, it doesn't come with a, with a sheath of any sort, so you may have to pick one up separately if you want to. Uh, if you want to carry it in a sheath, I recommend just this standard nylon Leatherman sheath. This is the one that came with the Blast. It's really well made. I think they're around 7 bucks or something. Um, as far as competitive options, you know, the Blast, obviously. This thing, the Blast, I think is running somewhere around 35 to $40, probably closer to $40. Uh, so, a little more than $28, but it does come with the sheath, a little extra, you know, added value there. So, the Blast is really not that far off. Check out my review. It does have a few more tools in there. It has scissors, you know, I, I do like the Blast, but you don't get that one hand openable blade. So, you might have to you might end up wanting to carry a separate pocket knife with this. Uh, just something to, to consider with the blast. Um, other than the blast, maybe check out some Gerber tools. I don't know. There's really not a lot that offers this amount of performance and uh, just value. I mean, 28 bucks is just awesome for this. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention about that pocket clip is that if you're planning on running this in, in some sort of pouch, maybe like a pistol mag pouch or a flashlight pouch or something, and you just want to have that, that lanyard hanging out, you may want to remove that pocket clip because if you try to c come pull it out, that pocket clip facing this way can snag and, and not want the tool to come out. So maybe take that pocket clip off if you're going to run it in a pouch. Uh, overall, I really like the tool. I think it's a fantastic value. So uh, let's give you a little size comparison to a few other tools. This is that Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirit. Very similar size. There's my dog going crazy. Um, Leatherman Squirt PS4. Much smaller tool. And uh, I'll give you a look at the Phoenix LD10. So, nice compact tool. Very easy to carry. I really like it. So if you have any questions or comments about this tool, uh, feel free to ask that in the comments. I'd, I'd be happy to help you guys out. Uh, feel free to rate and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And everyone have a, everyone, uh, have a nice day. Thanks for watching.